Yo, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coca Cola 34. I'm here today with another episode of the Core Dinosaur Discussion, and this time we're going to look at Collecte's 2017 figures. I'm going to start off with the Basilosaurus. Now, whoo -hoo, uh, Collecte. Now, these aren't obviously going to be in order, but Collecte, they're doing they're doing quite well with me right now. Um, even though they didn't produce like literally, I don't I don't think they produced any figure that I predicted. Um, on the list that I on the predictions that I made but this figure you know what I am a lot of people have actually I have two people so far have said they didn't like it uh, that would be Spino Dude Reviews and uh, 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 Cody the Saurian King now I'm actually the opposite I love this figure I love the coloration the coloration is fine with me I like the coloration um, is there anything that really just gets to me um, to be honest the only thing that actually gets to me is the fact that it's got it. If, I don't. This is me being a bit picky, I know, and this is me wanting more. But I would have actually preferred it with um, an articulated jaw. And yes, I know, I know, that's me being picky, but that's the only grapple grab. But other than that, this is definitely on my list. Um, if I remember correctly, this is about 35 centimeters. I think 35 centimeters long. So that's pretty long. That's. That's not bad, but I'll definitely be getting this uh, whenever it comes out. Up next, we got one of the most bizarre uh, mammal species I've ever seen before. Uh, this is the Wintertherian, and I believe it's a Wintertherian anceps. Um, now, this was a close uh, relative of the ungulates. So, you know, your horses, your deer, your, uh, will, uh, your gazelle, stuff like that. But he's got that characteristic look of sort of a big, like, rhino. Uh, but he's got those giraffe like horns and it's got saber teeth so it's it's a bizarre looking animal but uh, I've just looked it up the well I, I knew about this creature but I'd never actually think I never actually thought that this would actually get into a figure form but <laughs> well collector they've uh, blown my mind so uh, thank you for blow, blowing my mind collector um now instead of giving it the rhino like skin they've given it quite a bit of fur which which is different. Um, I'm not mad about this uh, figure, but I will say this: this figure looks uh, absolutely just just immaculate. It does look good. It looks nice. It looks natural. Um, and this is obviously a male because of the large um, crests and the large lump and the large horns on his heads. Uh, his heads. His head. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I'm not too sure. I'll pick up this figure. I don't know. Maybe if it's like maybe if I, maybe if I like this more in the future. I don't know. But it's still a good figure. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash it. It's a great. It looks like a good figure. Up next, we got the uh, Deluxe Dino Kyrus. Um, now there's a lot of controversy about this figure. Um, a lot of controversy saying that it's just this, it's just exactly the same as the 2014 iteration. Well, sorry, 2016 iteration. iteration. I keep thinking... Ugh, it reminds me of the blooming um, 2014 discovery that they did. Now, there are differences. Um, first of all, the head is slightly different in stance, apparently. Uh, also, I'd say the feathers on the back of the head is slightly different. Um, the arms look a bit more... a bit. Uh, the, the actual arms look more at a 90-degree angle than this figure. And I'd even say the tail is slightly shorter than the last one, and maybe even and he's even bent down a bit. So, yeah, you're not getting that much um, differentiation from the from the last figure. But I'm probably not going to get this figure. I didn't get the last. I didn't get last year's one. I wasn't really bothered about it. But this one, I'm probably not going to be bothered about it. So, I think I'll give it a miss. But um, a lot of controversy is coming out of this uh, right now. Um, some people are unhappy. Some people aren't. But I don't know. I'm I'm not really in the in the uh, crowd right now with this figure. Up next, we got their deluxe Chronosaurus, and well, um, again, this one. Some people are not really that fond of it. Um, I did hear Spino do reviews. Um, he say that 
He's not impressed with the uh, paint scheme. I I'm actually I actually like this. Um, I like this purely because it's kind of kind of a nostalgic um, feeling. Now, if you look back in the history of Schleich and you look at their Saurus line, the Schleich Saurus line, you'll actually find that Schleich did a Chronosaurus years and years back, and this and it pretty much had the same exact paint scheme as this. Um, now, this Chronosaurus it has an articulated jaw, and looking at it, it doesn't scream uh, Chronosaurus, it more screams, uh, I'm probably going to get this wrong, but, uh, Megaloceratosaurus, uh, I believe that's what it's called, an American species of Pliosaur, um, but I'm definitely going to be getting this figure, because I'm a big fan of Pliosaurs, I absolutely, I love Pliosaurs, um, and this figure, I, I just love the nostalgic feeling that it's given to me. Um, it's huge, it's about 31 centimeters, so it's just over a foot. So you've got a big um, Chronosaurus. So this year, I will be buying, well, next year, sorry, next year. <laughs> next year, I'll probably be buying two, two figures, two Chronosaurus figures. I'll be buying this one from Safari and this one from Collector. Next, we've got the, uh, the Collecte Dimorphodon now. This one just come out tomorrow, uh, this morning, uh, not this morning, sorry, uh, yesterday morning, and well, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm pre I am surprised. I'm surprised. I like the look of the figure. Um, it's very unique as well. Um, if you look at the hind foot, you look at the hind foot, you can see actually has a membrane, uh, the bit of the wing membrane. It's attached the um, the fourth finger, which I mean fourth foot toe. Or fifth one, I think it's the fifth one. It might be the fifth one or fourth one. I can't exactly remember. I'm not totally uh, knowing of uh, pterosaur feet, um, but this dimorphodon it looks proportionally right and it looks fantastic. Um, now it's a, I think it's a specimen of dimorphodon uh, macrionyx. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it, macrionyx. Now. I was originally going to get the Rebor one, but I, I think I'm glad I, I, you know, stepped away from that and I'm going to go with this. Uh, definitely I'm going to go with this. Um, it looks great and the size is incredible. Um, according to the measurements, the official measurements, the wing, the the wing length, well, the length of the actual figure itself is going to be about 37.5 centimeters. That's big. That's really big. <laughs> Um, I I was originally going to get the Guadrica, uh, Guadrico um, figure. Now I'm glad that I didn't get that figure because it's it, I won't have enough shelf space. Um, but this one, I might get it. I might not. I, I don't know. But there's something that the, just the pigmo fibers, the skull size, the actual look of the animal looks fantastic. And I think uh, collector are kind of capitalizing on the success of Jurassic World because. Dimorphodon was in that film, and I think the performance of those those pterosaurs was amazing, especially the ones that were like n nipping and yapping at the um, uh, Indominus Rex. They, were, I, I don't know why, but they were kind of comedic to me. Like they just have had a bit of an attitude. But obviously, I might get this one. I don't know yet, but it's 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 a possibility. All right. So next up, we're going to go into the Ineosaurus, and well, this this figure is actually really good. Um, now, obviously, we're getting a bit of a double. We're getting a bit of doubles this year. Uh, Safari uh, releasing a Ineosaurus, and now Collecte are releasing an Ineosaurus. And the news came out that Collecte uh, they started making their nap, their Ineosaurus first, and Collecte have done a really good job. Um, I think they've gone off the holotype specimen because if you look at the Safari limited specimen, um, the actual figure, I think that's based off of a, a later specimen they found with, that had a, a slight variant in the horn. This one has the classic curled uh, horn of the Ineosaurus. Um, I I might get this one. I don't know. I might get it, but um, I'm, I'm I don't know. I just the text the actual texture and the look of the figure just really draws me in, which is brilliant. Uh, the horn as well just looks nice, and excuse me, and the uh, the quills on the back look look okay from well what you can see, but um, I think it's a pretty small figure. It's te it's just one of your technical little ones about twelve centimeters in length. I think nearly thirteen centimeters in length in this one. So. Definitely a good figure, um, but I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. I don't know. 
Now up next we've got the Excalibosaurus, and this is a little ichthyosaur that's, uh, I think, it's, I believe it's from Britain, I don't know, but uh, I'd probably, I'd probably hope it is, <laughs> but um, basically this lived 190 million years ago, so that'd be the, uh, I think that'd be the late Jurassic um, period. Now, from the looks of this, I'm, I'm a bit on the fence, um, I actually, I, to be honest, I, I, I like it, I like the being a bit accurate. And I like the look of the figure. It's just, it's just the, the snout that does it for me. The snout. If you look, look at the rest of the body. The animals um, got that faded. It's got that faded look to it in the black, from the black to the white. Um, but on the snout, it's just an abrupt black white, black white. It's just, it's just. Mm, you could have, you could have. Um, yeah, you could you could have done a bit more work on that. But then again, these pictures are based off the first. Um, I think the first full paints they've done, the first uh, successful full paints they've done. So it could get changed. I mean, there there have been times where figures have been changed um, and given other little features. But I won't mind if they did that. But I'm I don't think I'll be getting this figure. I'm not a massive fan of ichthyosaurs. I I prefer the bigger ichthyosaurs and the more um, more primitive ichthyosaurs like I love I love myself I would love myself a good uh, I think it's called a shinosaurus uh, I, lo I love sh I'd love shinosaurus I mean especially like a giant squid if you've heard about the whole kraken the triassic kraken uh, controversy which I'm a supporter of I do believe that there might have been a gigantic cephalopod preying on the gigantic ichthyosaurs the triassic period but um, yeah but this figure is is good it's good it's just the snout doesn't do it for me up next, we've got a bizarre um, stegosaurid. It's called the Gigant Spinosaurus. Um, now, this is a very strange looking uh, dinosaur, but I have seen this figure before. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I haven't seen this figure before. Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. Um, <laughs> but I haven't seen this um, Chinese stegosaur before. Now, it's from China. Um, now, I'm not so sure about the placement of the. Of the of the spines, those giant hooked spines. Now I thought they were placed. Um, si I thought they were placed downwards on the animal, but then again, that that could be just because um, a lot of people now scientists are saying maybe they should have depicted it with the shoulder spines uh, upwards. You know, put up on top of the on top of the shoulders instead of the bottom instead of draping down. But I'm I'm probably not going to buy this figure. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bothered. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just something about it. Just doesn't, just doesn't catch my eye. It just doesn't. Yeah, but I will give it. I will give it his props. It does look. It's a bizarre dinosaur. It looks. It looks good. Looks good. I like the uh, coloration on the, on the two large spines. The whole grey and red bit and the brown bit on the base. The, the paint scheme reminds me sort of of a um, maybe a, a goanid lizard or some kind, like a gila monster, something like that. Um, I don't know why, but it just does, or like a tiger or something, which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, this figure's okay, but I'm probably not going to get it. Then we've got the Regala Ceratops. Uh, Regala Ceratops uh, is pretty cool. A pretty cool Ceratops, you know. I'll give it that. Um, this figure, it it does the uh, it does the specimen well. It does the material well. Um, it's a pretty sizable figure. I think it's around 12 centimeters in length. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say it's a deluxe, so it's definitely not a deluxe. Um, now this figure looks pretty good. It looks like it's just bending down to eat something, which is pretty good. Or it could be lowering its head down to ward off a, a rival or a predator, which could be, which is pretty good. Um, the paint scheme on this, it looks really good. Um, I will say that the paint applied on this, it, the, the stripes, they do look a bit. Mm, they look a bit rushed. Uh, the head's brilliant. The head's fine. I love the head. It's just the rest of the body. It just it just it just screams like it's been rushed, and that's the only thing that's keeping me from probably buying it. I'm not a big Regaloceratops uh, fan, so I'm probably not going to get Regaloceratops. I would have loved to seen a Wendy Ceratops because I love a Wen I love Wendy Ceratops. Wendy Ceratops is just one of my favourites. Um, but yes, I am probably not going to get this figure, which is a shame. But it it, it it's good. It's good. I'm not going to I'm going to say it's it is good. It's good. It's not as good as the other figures uh, in the line. 
right now, but um, it's still a good figure, still a good figure. And those paint scheme changes could uh, could come, and this could come out, uh, turn out to be a better figure than I hoped, or um, well, a better figure than I'm bashing it for. But you know, some some bits, some things I just don't like, and some people might not agree with me. But that's that's my opinion. And finally, we're going to go with the final deluxe and the final figure of the line. Uh, this is the Styracosaurus. Now, this this actually looks pretty good. I, I will give it props. It looks good. Um, I'm a big fan of Centrosaurines. Um, I'm a huge fan of the uh, Pachyrhinosaurs and the um, Centrosaurs. Uh, I do like a bit of um, Diabloceratops and... Um, Ineosaurus, you know, those guys, I love those guys. Styracosaurus, um, I feel like it's one of the overrated Centrosaurines. Um, but this one, this figure looks really nice. Uh, it does remind me of the Papo one. Again, it gives a bit of a nostalgic feeling, even though the Papo one is shite. Um, this looks really good. It does, it does look good. Um, however, I will probably never, I'll, I'll probably not be getting this. Um, just because there's nothing about the actual uh, paint scheme that catches my eye. There's nothing about the actual figure that just stands out to me and makes me want to get this figure. So, in all, I'm probably just going to be getting um, just just a couple of these figures, but uh, not all of them, not all of them. So, at the end of the day, I will be getting the Ineosaurus. It's a possibility. The Ineosaurus the is a possibility. Um, the... Definitely not the Dino Carrot. Um, I'll definitely be getting the Chronosaurus, so that's one figure. I'll be getting the Basilosaurus, so that's two. And most likely, I'll be getting the Dimorphodon. So, three figures from Collector for next year, that's what I'll be getting. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing good. They're doing good. Um, this year, for next year, it seems like they've got a, quite a bizarre lineup. But you know what? That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing because they don't need to stick to the norm of we'll bring out a big like theropod and we'll we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do that and do this. But you know, it would have been nice to see like a Giganotosaurus and a, or an Allosaurus this year. But maybe we'll get that next year. I'm hoping maybe because I think Giganotosaurus is the last big guy, the last big dinosaur predator that they need that collector need. Because we've all got, because I mean, there's always going to be that last one like Schleich. They haven't done a, um, they haven't, they haven't done a Carcharonosaurus. Papo haven't done a Carcharonosaurus or a Giganotosaurus. Then you've got Collector who haven't done a Giganotosaurus. So it's it's a race. It's a race to get all the big four. And in my opinion, I feel like collecte is closer so maybe next year but this this year's line looks really good um in my opinion this year they've they've completed it several um lines like well several of the, of the big lots like like um the centrosaurines they've now got ineosaurus which is great and with the pterosaurs they've got dimorphodon which is great which means they've got they've got a good set of those respective families and you know what I'm, I'm quite proud of collector so thank you for watching hope you enjoy and i shall see you later bye bye